Welcome back to the Kaiser Report. I'm Max Kaiser. Time now to go to New Zealand to talk with internet entrepreneur King.com, who's got a new project, BitCash, on bankofthefuture.com. Uh, Kim, welcome back to the Kaiser Report. Hi, Max. Thanks uh, for having me. Yeah, let's talk about the uh, what's going on on the legal front in New Zealand. Uh, I, I watched part of the live stream of the U.S. case against you. Uh, the copyright cartel in Hollywood is trying to uh, take control of all human thought uh, and monopolize human thought. And, of course, you're, you're fighting against it. What's the latest? It looked like you, you guys were trouncing them. What, what's the latest on that? I think we had a very good uh, appeal hearing. I think the U.S. case was demonstrated to be a sham. Uh, I think we've shown with our evidence that there's no case for extradition. There's no case for criminal copyright infringement. Uh, and, uh, you know, they were quite unhappy. All right. Now, this, what's amazing is that here you've got an entrenched oligopolist, the MPAA, the copyright cartel in Hollywood. And yet, because of new technology, because of new financial technology, because of banks of the future, you're able to create a path out of the morass of the persecution you're undergoing. Uh, and you've, this new bid cash is actually getting funding. It's getting zeroing in on 50% of its minimum goal. W tell us that pitch, please. Yeah, we have good traction with Bank to the Future. We launched the pitch a couple of days ago. Uh, we are, like you said, almost at half of our minimum uh, fundraising requirement. So that's going really well. But I think we can do better. So, uh, you know, today I did a couple of interviews talking about the, the technical side of things. People had a couple of questions about that, uh, and I explained that today. What, what, are the two, what are the top two questions on the technical front people are asking, Kim? So people didn't really understand exactly how Bitcash works. Uh, Bitcash is basically a microtransaction service uh, utilizing Bitcoin uh, and the blockchain. The transactions will occur off the chain uh, because the blockchain itself has uh, limitations in the number of transactions it can handle. And uh, therefore, we created this off-chain approach uh, where you can basically do millions and millions of transactions uh, and then reintroduce the Bitcoin into the blockchain when you make um, uh, withdrawals from your funds uh, within Bitcash. Now, the other thing that is important to note, uh, the off-chain approach is not really an issue in terms of decentralization or security or anything because we are only transacting very minimal amounts. What you put into your Bitcash wallet is minimal. You, you know, if you put $5 in there, that is going to last you a very long time because our default transaction size per file transfer will not be more than five cents. Uh, so uh, in terms of security, there isn't really any concern simply because of the size of the uh, individual transactions. Now, content producers get paid essentially, right? Yeah, it's a new content distribution system and a payment system. So any content owner can uh, utilize Mega Upload 2 and Bitcash uh, to monetize what's basically free uh, right now. And uh, the same with news publishers. They can use Bitcash uh, to monetize their news stories. We're going to open a new door of monetization that is currently not available uh, on the internet. All right, so let's say if I make a short five-minute film and I post it to a social media site, social networking site like Facebook, I, I don't get anything out of that uh, at all. If I post it on yeah. your project, your network, BitCash and Mega Upload 2, you know, you get a million people looking at it, five million people looking at it. At one point, you had 4% of the entire Internet traffic. You had a billion unique visitors. Let's say a million people look at it. You know, I could, I, that five-minute video, I could make 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, right? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of money to be made with this. And the beautiful thing is because of the approach that we have, you don't even need to utilize just Mega Upload 2. You can put your BitCash container file on any service. So you can put it on, uh, let's say, storage or MateSafe or any other online storage uh, solution, and you can still generate income from it. Now, the rough uh, valuation of... The original project you did, that the copyright cartel, because obviously you're changing the economics of the content business. So the oligopolists wanted to shut you down. They staged a raid on your home. They were illegal in New Zealand. They falsely arrested you. They falsely imprisoned you because you're upsetting the cartel. 
Uh, but the uh, going forward, though, you, you're able now to give and empower folks the ability to take back control of their own property, their own. You're, you're challenging them, the oligopoly, and you've you've been able to um, get through this using this new technology. It's a little. It's a little bit. I mean, it reminds me back in the early internet days. You know, sending a five gigabyte file used to be a problem. Then you had BitTorrent came came around, and suddenly the whole dynamics changed. Um, is the technology? Can you make the comparison to that? Well, first of all, Mega Upload Two and Bitcash, uh, Bitcash is not just a business. It's a movement. It's uh, a vision to strengthen internet freedom and strengthen our basic human rights to privacy. So this uh, new business is going to be much more than just file sharing and file storage. Um, it's going to liberate us. You know, it's uh, the technology providing us with the rights that we rightfully have under the uh, United, United Nations uh, Charter of Human Rights, technology is providing that. When the law can't protect us anymore because they are spying on us everywhere, they're trying to censor our internet. So it's a mission, you know, it's much more than a business. And I have access to 200 uh, million users that uh, have used my sites in the past, and they are looking forward to what I'm creating and what I'm coming out with. And it's much more than you know, just a new file sharing site. These people love the brand, they love what I stand for, and that's why I think instantly from the start we're going to have a critical mass and we're going to have enough users to make this micropayment solution one of mass appeal. And what I also try to achieve is to bring Bitcoin to the mainstream. I want Bitcoin and digital currencies in general to be the next big thing that everybody uses. Get away from the banks, get away from the paper money, and uh, you know, use the future of money right now. And I want to do that. And you know, Bitcoiners, if they help me making this business a reality and making it big, they are helping themselves because I believe the Bitcoin uh, valuation will go up quite a bit, and you will see many more users uh, in the Bitcoin ecosystem. Yeah, well, it, it's uh, as you point out, it is a mission. It's a much much needed mission. You know, a lot of the recent WikiLeaks uh, leaks have uh, pointed to the journalists in America, at the New York Times, Wall Street Journal, Time Magazine, and elsewhere, basically taking instructions from politicians as to what to say. So journalism, yeah. as such, is dead in America. And um, a, a, as a result, um, you have, for example, Hillary Clinton would can say that. Um, a country like Russia is uh, involved in U.S. Uh, elections in, uh, by getting involved in the emails and things like that. A, a, a bald-faced lie that's been refuted many, many times. But because there's no actual media pushback, there's no honest journalism in America anymore, she can just blatantly lie. And, of course, the copyright cartel is all involved in that. And it's dangerous. She's the most irresponsible, uh, you know, jack fill in the blanks probably ever to walk uh, onto the political scene. Your movement is part and parcel of trying to transform this global economy, and Bitcoin is a big part of that. Do you think, as you've said, Bitcoin can get up to 2,000 or higher just based on this movement that, that you're going to perpetuate, Kim? I believe that we can do that single-handedly with Bitcash. I believe that Mega Upload 2 is going to give Bitcash the initial critical mass to have a couple million users. And once they use Bitcash and they see how easy and smooth and, and cool it is, it all happens on the fly. You don't even need to know anything about Bitcoin. It just happens. And by the way, the first 5 million users of Mega Upload 2 will get a free Bitcash wallet, including some credit that they can then use to try out the new service. And the beauty of Bitcash is it can be implemented into any website. So anyone can participate in this. And I really believe that this is going to make a huge difference for Bitcoin. So, so the valuation, if I remember, Mega Upload at one point was valued at over a billion dollars. So well, when Upload was shut down, it was worth 2.4 billion. And we know that very well because we were six months away from an IPO. We hired a full-time in-house IPO manager. We had all the valuations done. It was ready to go public, and then they destroyed it. Okay, so based on the valuation at Bank of the Future, 
if, if you ach achieve the kind of numbers you got with mega upload, this is a multi-billion dollar enterprise. I mean, I'm just talking just kind of ballpark figures, but is that, is that, what do you think of that? Well, let me be clear. Mega Upload 2 and Bitcash is better than anything I've ever done. I have spent many, many years refining uh, what I know about the industry and turning it into this uh, beautiful innovation that is going to change everything. This is really a game changer. People can't see it now, but believe me when I say, and I've built massive sites in the past, I've studied user behavior of 50 million unique users a day. I know what users want. I'm building something that is going to be very sexy and will have mass appeal. And I think this will be bigger than anything I've ever done. All right, um, so again, the, uh, the, the pitch is on Bank to the Future. It's for accredited investors, obviously. Um, this is not an, uh, saying one way or another, you know, an endorsement, uh, good or bad. We're just throwing around conceptually what we think could be uh, the future of this. Everyone must do their own uh, due diligence on this. And, uh, but, you know, it, 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 uh, it's a very exciting, and I'm glad we're part of the mission, Kim. Thanks for being on the Kaiser Report. Thanks for having me, Max. Appreciate it. Hey, hey Kim, one last question. Yes, what is it? Would you consider changing your name to Kim.Bitcoin? <laughs> Kim.Bitcoin. Maybe KimCoin. <laughs> that would be funny. Now, I love my name, man. It's a homage to the internet and what it has given me, and uh, I'm very grateful for the internet. So Kim.com remains. <laughs> All right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the Kaiser Report with me, Max Kaiser, and Stacey Herbert. I'd like to thank our guest, Kim.com. If you'd like to get in touch, tweet us at Kaiser Report. Until next time, bye, y'all.